Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I need to reorganize my half sheet filler paper. So I thought I would actually just walk you through how I store my filler paper and how I keep some sheets out so that I can easily use these. So I like to store some of my filler paper on discs so that it's easy for me to use. So I have an expander disc book of just classic size filler paper and I have it broken down into three sections. So I have tabs from a Happy Notes notebook and I've labeled them lined paper, grid and dot paper, and specialty paper. And inside I have this group together so that I have about five to seven, eight-ish sheets of each type of filler paper that I have. So basically this book is every single kind of paper that I can use in a classic planner. And this just makes it super easy for me to quickly flip through if I need something that's lined or if I am looking for something that's very neutral or colorful. I can just flip through here and grab some paper. And this is just such a great way to actually use your paper instead of just storing it away. I do have a container that I keep the rest of my paper in, which I will show you towards the end of this video, how I store the extras. But this is just super easy to just grab and go. I keep this on my bookcase, so whenever I need paper, I have it. And having it broken down into categories like lined, dot, and graph, and then specialty, make it really easy to quickly see what I have and exactly what I could use based on what type of paper I am looking for. And the specialty paper section is probably my favorite because there are so many different fun pieces of paper in here. And this one I actually really loved, but it was for the big planner, so I actually trimmed it down so that it would fit the classic size. So I have all kinds of paper in here, like the classroom checklist. I have this checklist and dot grid paper. So this is anything that is not lined and dot and graph, so there's a little bit more to it. So it's like a goal page or a daily page. But this section is just for those times where I need a fun note page, but I am looking for a specific kind. So I'm going to take that and do a similar idea with my half sheet papers. So I have two skinny classic size notebooks that I just pulled the paper out. So I have one with expander discs and then one with just the regular classic size. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how I organize all of these papers in here. So I'm going to start with the lined paper. And like I said, I just grabbed like a small stack, about five to eight sheets of paper. I'm not too precise on this. I just want a decent amount so that I can grab a couple sheets of the same style paper and still have a couple more left in here. So like this stack, there isn't too many extra pages after I got to five. So I'm just gonna stick all of them in here. And then if I ever use up completely what I have in here for a certain style paper, I can just go into my big container of paper where I keep the extras and reload this little notebook. So now I'm gonna move on to my specialty type half sheets. So this could be like these habit trackers, the week pages, or checklist pages. And these, I actually forgot that I had these. So organizing your filler paper is also a great way to see exactly what you have. 
And I actually, after doing this, might be using quite a few of these in my new planner setup for 2021. And then I'm actually going to stick these pages right up in the front because they're a little bit shorter than the regular half sheets. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take this second one and I'm going to place some more pages in here. So I'm going to make two booklets basically of the half sheets, mostly because I don't have enough space in the paper container that these are going to go in. So I do need to fill another one of these just so that I don't have any extra hanging out that's not in one of these books or in the paper container. So I'm just going to mainly focus on the dot and graph paper and then some of the more specialty paper as well because I find those are the ones that I reach for the most. And I just love half sheets. Like they are so perfect to use in your planner. They can add a little pop of color and they're very functional if you're looking for like a habit tracker or you just need one of these like a small weekly, maybe you're doing some meal planning or planning out some workouts or social media posts or meetings that you have, school. It can really help you kind of expand the space in your planner. So this is my completed second book. So I will keep all of these on my bookcase. So I am now going to show you where I keep my extra filler paper when it is not in one of those books that I just made. So I found these containers at Michael's and I think they're actually called photo storage containers. If I can find them on their website, I will link them in the description box, but these are perfect and they fit the classic Happy Planner paper. So in here there are, I think there's five dividers. So I basically have this broken down into almost the same type. So I have my lined and then dot and graph paper and then specialty papers towards the back. And this is one of those dividers that I mentioned earlier. So I have five of them actually in here. And then in the front, I have just a get it done paper pad. And I have this stuffed full. So like there is no reason for me to buy more filler paper. I have more than I will probably ever use. And then I have a second one with just some more classic paper. And I keep these uh, paper pads in here as well. I also have a slot for mini paper and it fits vertically. So you can get two columns of mini paper in here if you store the paper vertically. And actually, just like my classic paper and what I did with the half sheets, I have a mini version as well. So I basically just have, again, five to seven-ish sheets of every single type of mini paper. So I have all three sizes of paper on my bookcase that is super easy for me to grab while I'm planning. So now I'm just going to take my leftover half sheets, and this is still so much paper. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in here because it's going to fit perfect now that I put it in two books. So I'm just going to drop that in there. And then on top of that is where I keep my micro paper. I don't really use this a whole lot. I really should just put it on my desk and use it like I would use a sticky note. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this at the top for now in two stacks. And then on top of that, I just keep these little mini versions of half sheets and close it up. And I have all of my paper in one spot and it's so nice. It's protected. It's not anywhere where it's going to get bent. And I love having these books on my bookcase so it's super easy to grab paper. So let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video and would like a look inside of how I store my other planner supplies. And I will talk to you all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!